Hi, my name is Rebecca Priup. I am in Everett, Washington, and currently I am a wife and mother to a three-year-old boy and a six-year-old girl, and I work full-time at Boeing as an indirect supply chain manager. So my team essentially procures and maintains requirements for items used to build an airplane but does not actually fly away. Um, and get delivered to a customer. So the reason I am at ASU getting um, my degree is that I started school a long time ago and I was into my junior year at WSU and I had done a program where the focus was sociology, business, and economics. And the reason I even got into that is uh, my job at Boeing, I had started out as a mechanic and became a team leader building wings for the 737. And then I got introduced to lean manufacturing. And one thing many people who try and implement lean don't get is it's really about culture and lean tools are an aspect, but it's really about the people and how you get them to operate within that context. So that's how I ended up in that degree. And then, you know, got married, had kids. And so now here I am going, okay, I'm 38. And I guess it's time to, to finish this and stop taking a, the lazy way out of like, oh, I got a career. I don't need this, but there is a lot of value. And I want to show my kids that I'm not going to be the only one in my family without a degree. So, um, to me, that's really a big piece of it. So, let's see, the most interesting or funniest job I ever had. Um, I think the most interesting thing I've ever done is been an airplane mechanic. Um, I got into it because my uncle said, hey, they'll pay for college if you go to Boeing. And at the time I was going to school to be a nurse and I didn't want to go into any more debt. So I did a 40 week training or 40 hour training um, unpaid where you had to pass some specific tests, blueprint, reading, drilling, stuff like that. Um, I passed, so I got an interview. And then I was hired into 3-7 program in Renton. And ultimately that changed the whole kind of course of my life. Um, but one of the coolest things I got to do was actually build the test wing for the Poseidon, um, which is the tanker for the Navy. And the wing that we were building, this was before we had our contract, was the test wing that they were gonna shoot up. I'm not really into war or violence, but it was kind of neat to be a part of that test to see if this was even gonna work. So I think that was probably one of the most interesting jobs I've had. So from the lectures, and um, the article in, in per, I don't know how to say it. So one of the um, interesting things that I took away from the lectures was uh, really the shared interpretation um, is shaped by ideas coming from all influences, uh, such as religion, science, econ, politics, uh, these deep principles make up a person's worldview, right? And that that struck me because, especially in today's environment in the United States, but also looking at corporate culture in which I work in, that a lot of the conflict comes from thinking that we add diversity and trying to expose people to other worldviews yet it is all within the constraints of kind of the typical white male view. So if diversity or the idea of what culture should be for a company is not fitting within that perspective, it all of a sudden needs to be corrected. So I just see a lot of similarities between at least the corporate culture I've experienced and um, and how it's hard to go and try and share that worldview. And then that takes me to the article where it talked about the open office concept, which is terrible. 
um, for anybody who has worked in that. I could see in certain corporate cultures or workplace cultures that it would make sense and that you want to have that open communication and conversations and sharing of ideas and building on that. But if the culture is one where people are willing, I guess, to take others' ideas or they will hold those ideas against you or you have to keep things close to your chest, it can actually just be this stifling environment. And in the one company, Boeing, that I work at, I've been in open office environments where it has been very conducive to problem solving and critical thinking. But I've also been in office environments where you have to watch yourself because you don't know who's listening and you don't necessarily want it to be open. So I, I really took a lot from that in the article, how it was kind of put into this positive view, which it can be, but it makes a lot of assumptions of applying those uh, concepts into any and all environments. So, all right, thank you.